Welcome back to Let's Play Aoden Chronicle Rising. Last time we defeated the first rune golem. Got ourselves a big fancy lens. A defense ring level 1. And access to the rune barrows, I guess. You know, the thing we've been hearing about for the last 2-3 hours. and ostensibly where most of the game should take place. So these are the barrows. They're even cooler than I thought. Didn't expect them to go so deep. Wow, to think this exists under that, that crummy little town. I smell trouble. Keep your eyes peeled. My nose is never wrong. Something bad's up ahead. The evil sorcerer's curse! Ooh. The what? An evil sorcerer, punished by gods and sealed in the ruins. I bet it's him. I'll take that bet. Huh? Company, eh? You got a problem, mate? You guys smell worse than me. Guru, these are bandits. They're the ones who attacked Hogan. Bandits? The lens-obsessed weirdos that other weirdo told us about? Thanks for taking care of that load golem, little lady. Now hand over the loan lens and we won't have any trouble. Trouble? <laughs> for you, maybe. Do you forget what happened last time we met? Gah. We'll see what happens this time, eh? Lads, all in! Ugh, what's a bumpkin like you doing with a beast anyway? Fall back, lads. We'll just come back and take the lens from their dead bodies. Hold it. You stole those lenses, didn't you? Drop them. Eat this. CJ, get down. What? What was that? The ears are still ringing. A runic round. I've seen them once before. Sorcerers who can make them are few and far between, though. Runic rounds? How did bandits get their dirty hands on something like that? Good question. Moreover, how did they even get in? I very much doubt they've got the necessary paperwork. Must have bribed the lookout or something. Plenty of adventures around, though. They'd get spotted in no time. Nah, I don't like this. Too suspicious. Let's head back for now and act, talk to that acting mayor about it. It's just a couple of bandits. You worry too much. I'm not worried about myself. I have to tell the other adventurers and escorts to be on their toes. Easier said than done. I have to put that sword to use. Go, Garou! Go, go, Garou! Give it a rest, will ya? There's far too many rocks. Go, Garou! Go, go, Garou! I told you there's too many. I'd break my arm trying to get through that. Are you joking? So, what? We're just buried alive down here? Calm down. There's gotta be another way out somewhere. Where? Where? The Menhir. You have to find the Menhir. Menhir? That ancient stone plate thing? Exactly. There was an old... Uh, there was an old one in the Great Forest, all busted up. That rock I saw when we first met in the woods. Why would there be one of them there? Or here? Why isn't important right now? Focus on the where. Just trust me. The Rune Barrows. Mysterious ruins typically known locally as the Rune Barrows. The discovery of the Rune Barrows brought countless adventurers to New Nevea in search of fame and fortune. Lightning monsters lie in wait within. Rune to be obtained. Quest clear. Not a damp insight. The mystery of the Menhir. Did I have to deal with like a Menhir in Siege of Dragon Spear or something? I don't want that thing to get off its attack. I don't trust it. Curry powder? I don't trust the... Don't eat that curry powder, CJ. Oh, it's from the wisp things. Never mind. I thought it was from that pot. <laughs>
Wait, isn't that a Minier? No, there was another... Qu yes, there was a quest about Minier's in Siege of Dragon Spear. Definitely the same pattern as the one in the forest. This one looks to be in better condition, though. There's an int den here. Seems like something could slot in. You don't think a uh, rune lens could power it? My grandpa told me about something like that before. Even a low-grade rune lens ought to do the trick, I think. Not that it matters much if we don't have one. Whoa! What are you doing with a rune lens? Just... Shh, please. It's alive! Right then, let's get out of here. Are we waiting for something? That lion sack of... Why isn't it working? I ain't about to die down here. Useless hunk of rock, do something! Guru, wait, calm down! Well, let me have a look. There must be something we're missing. There's some kind of inscription here. Looks like the many ear key my grandpa told me about. Let's see... Mysterious... Uh, we have to do Bioshock hacking. Wait, not even, because it's not timed. It's like hacking in Watch Dogs 3. I did it! Actually, I think you had to do power lines in 1 as well. What? Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! We're out! We're really out! I think I'm gonna vom... So this many is like a portal to the one in the Barrows. I bet that's how those bandits got in. Why'd you know about the many though, Guru? I've seen them around. Or see all sorts on the road. What about the rune lens we used to activate it? Where'd you get that, hmm? Found it. I found it. Stuck in that old busted up many we saw in the woods. I heard a rumor about it in the town, headed out to investigate, and found the lens stuck in it. Where I can gather, there should be a good, quite a few of them around. Is that so? Excuse me, friend, but where are we? Uh, this is a farm, just outside New Nevea. So sorry to drop in on you like that. You okay? My name's CJ, and this big lug is Guru. We're adventurers. We were just down in the Barrows. I'm I I'm Ias, owner of this here farm. Not that I can do much farming since the earthquake. You're growing wheat, okay. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me, it sure seems like you pair came tumbling out of that rock just now. That's right. Seems this rock is connected to the Barrows. Well, I'll be. You haven't seen any dodgy folk around it lately, have you? Bandits and such? Can't say I have. Dogs haven't been barking lately neither, so they haven't seen nothing. Except for you two just now, that is. Huh. I suppose the bandits must be using another Menier, then. I had no idea this rock was so special. I always thought it was just some old monument to the before people. I knew it. I'm never going to be able to reopen this farm. Were you planning a grand reopening? I was thinking about it. Request from Ms. Mayor herself. Said there ain't enough food to keep all you adventurers satisfied. Unfortunately, I don't have none of what I need to rebuild the barn. No seeds for crops, neither. Ayas, today might just be your lucky day. We're happy to help. Oh, we are, are we? Some barn materials and crop seeds ought to be enough to get started. Should be easy to find in that forest over yonder. Yes, sir. Did you forget about them bandits that are after your lens, or are you just too much of a softie for your own good? Go see the Acton Mayor, tell her about the bandits, and then get back to treasure hunting. That was the plan, wasn't it? Can't do much on an empty belly, can you? If there's no food, there'll be no treasure hunting for anyone. Besides, those bandits think we're dead. They're probably back there rummaging through the wreckage for that load golem's lens. It's going to take them a while to dig through all that. I reckon we've got time for another brief detour. Plus, a food shortage would most likely affect the tavern too, you know. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Serious stone pillars that can be found around the town. Once activated by the insertion of a rune lens, the pillars take anything that touches them to a different location. Clearly, they have some connection to the rune barrows. 100 experience. Materials. Wing quest 11, on the other side. We need to gather the agricultural seed. Oh, I see. The rune lens will let us open the red doors. Pasturage. 
Ups. Let me just make this easier and go to the residential district and check the board. Not the residential district, the plaza. stand for some reason. Well, I can complete a lot of quests just immediately, at least. Alright, let's start with Sarita in Outlander Lane. Something the matter? I look like you've seen a ghost. CJ, I won't believe what happened, pet. I went to go get some goods for the new menu, you see. Plenty of ingredients in the woods, I thought to myself, so I went in, recipe in hand. The woods? Haven't you heard? The woods are crawling with monsters lately. I know, I know, but it's not like you planned a picnic, is it? In and out, I thought. I'd barely taken three steps when... There it was! What? A monster! What else? Attacked me from behind and took my recipe. What kind of monster? Couldn't tell you, pet. I heard it flip-flapping behind me and ran like the wind. Flip flapping. Okay, leave it to me. I'll head to the woods and check it out. I couldn't ask you to do that. The recipe is dear to me, though. It's from him, after all. It's too important to let some monster get their mitts on it. You're not asking, I'm offering. Him, huh? Can't have that, then. I'll go get it back right away. Hey, CJ, can I borrow you for a tick? Sure, something up? I was wondering if you'd be up for a little field work on Outlander Lane. Find out what it's eating everyone, you know? We've got folks from all across all Alron. Maybe it's supposed to be a play on, like, all room. Gathered here on top of each other. As it stands, they see sense and solidarity against the objectors, but we can't rely on that to get keep them getting along. So I'd appreciate it if you'd lend an ear to them to vent their frustrations. Blow off some steam. No problem. Leave it to me. Check the smithy. Uh, not available yet. Bad points? About Outlander Lane? Well, it's pretty dusty, I guess. Alright, that must be because of all the struck or the all the construction, rather. Can't upgrade this yet, but we will be able to. This just won't do. Um, something the matter? Oh, CJ. You could say that, yes. Ranbeer place in order, you see. I've exhausted all venues at my disposal to fulfill it and have nothing to show for my efforts. I would hate to disappoint him. And after all my boasting, how could I have been so foolish? I can't possibly face Ranbeer having faced him, failed him so. CJ, you're quite cordial with Ranbeer, are you not? Cordial? Not the word I'd use, but sure. I'm sure he'd prefer to hear this dreadful news from a friendly face. Ah, I see. Yeah, okay. I'll let him know. Yeah, I'm not really happy here. There's barely anything to do. I guess that's true. Bad points? <laughs> Where are the good points? There's nowhere to hang out here. If you're not drinking or shopping, there's not much else going on, is there? Ugh, that's accurate to where I live. Put it like that. I think that's all I think that's all I'm likely to get for now. Might as well turn in now before heading to Second Street. That pretty much sums it up, I think. Everyone I asked had quite a lot to complain about. Well, I asked you to let them vent, and vent they did. Thank you, CJ. So, how are you going to deal with all that, then? <laughs> I just did! I say they feel a lot better already with that off their chests, wouldn't you? That's all people need sometimes, you know? Someone to listen. And that someone was me, huh? I owe you one, CJ! <laughs> Apparently not one stamp, though. 
you stingy bastard. Maybe it's like I can only get one stamp per person. Good timing, little lady. Oh yeah? Why is that? I've heard you've been making yourself very useful around here. You're mighty popular with the townsfolk. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I reckon a giant branch would be just the thing to make this a real hit. Could you do the honor, CJ? You know I have to fight the giant tree fiend to get that, right? I do, but I also know you'll do just about anything for a stamp. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, here. This should be enough for you to make those improvements, right? Oh ho! Okay, okay, here. Try cutting the giant branch with this axe. What? I mean, sure. Reduce giant branch to ribbons. <laughs> the advertising practically writes itself. Ah, I see. There. That it? An extraordinary axe endorsed by everyone's favorite adventurer. I'll be rich. I thought you were being generous. Stamp received. Shop level up. See, I need stone, and then I need to use this to get lightweight lumber, and then I need to use it, these to get lightweight lumber, and actually, I already have the oh, and heavy stone. Now, I may be able to get heavy stone as is, actually, but money is going to be easy to come by at least. Yo, CJ, what's up, Hogan? I ain't seen Sarita around, have you? Got a delivery for her, but she ain't nowhere to be found. Can't say I have. I can't say I have, I'm afraid. I mean to go look. Would you mind? Thank you kindly. Sarita, there you are. Hogan's looking for you. Says he has a package you ordered or something. Oh my. Okay, please tell him I'll be over in a jiffy. Got it. Sarita said she'll be over to pick it up soon. What's so special about this thing anyway? I probably shouldn't say, but since it's you, CJ, it's some kind of new seasoning. It's pretty strong to me. More new dishes? Sarita must be feeling inspired. Can't wait to try it for myself. This levels up his shop, though. <laughs> eh, I'll take the free stuff. Oh, I could also just literally trade in the lightweight lumber. Two or three I need. Wait, I need the one stone anyway. Like I said, I'm really not concerned with the money, especially with all these quests we're going to be doing. Giving like 750 to 1,000 each. Next, let's check... All the residential district, I guess. Oh dear, oh my. You okay there, man? Ma'am? Not old enough to be a ma'am, am I? Oh, am I kidding? Of course you are, Mayra. Maybe that's why I can't just... I just can't decide what to cook tonight. Hope to get some meat, but the forest how it is at the moment. Want me to go get some for you? Wait, you're... You must be CJ. Heard all about how helpful you are. If you wouldn't mind. Beast meat, right? No problem. Back, got that meat you wanted too. My hero, thank you so much. I have a feeling I'll be calling on you again. CJ, aren't you? 
I'm Devdis, and I'm sick of you venturers walking around here like you own the place. Well, I have got an explorer's license. Who asked you, eh? Oh, come on, we should at least try to get along. Maybe there's something I could help you with. Help? Well, it is meat season, I suppose. What's that? Meat. I said meat, didn't I? There's a lot of mouth-watering meat to be gotten from the beasts in the wood this time of year. For an old-timer like me, meat and, like that is the key to keeping life in my bones. Impossible to catch the beasts without a trap in the set of a skilled hunter. Don't waste your time. Hunting with traps, huh? I'll get it for you. Ha! I'd like to see you try. Go on, then. I need level 2 trap for that, I think. You see, Jane? I heard you've been fishing lately. Is that right? Yep. Came upon a fishing rod recently, you see. So you're a beginner, then? Yep. You ain't likely to be much competition, then. Certainly not going to catch anything like old Yuga here can catch, that's for sure. Oh. And how big a fa fish can you catch, then, old Yuga? A bigger one than the likes of you are likely to see, let alone reel in. Tell you what, I'll take you to find secret fishing spot. If you can catch a bigger fish than mine, you get my stamp. Challenge accepted. You may regret that. It's the one in the forest. Alright, let's try... On outskirts. Rainbeer, got a message from you, for you from Bertrand. He's very sorry, but he can't fulfill your order. Uh, should have known it would be impossible to get a hundred superb swords so easily. I suppose I'll have to make do with what weapons we have on hand. Did you say a hundred? Is that odd? Or haven't you noticed this monster is increasing in number by the hour? Must ensure each and every resident is armed against this threat. Perhaps if we had a hundred pieces of the finest gold ore. Okay, so bye then. <laughs> it's not even worth considering. Oh no, I'm going to need a hundred gold ore. Give Rainbeer your message. Typical Rainbeer, eh? A hundred superb swords. <laughs> now it is to my shame that I could not acquire them. Perhaps, if one was somehow to acquire the materials for their production... CJ, would you mind? Okay, so bye then. <laughs> Good girl, CJ. Stamp received. Weapon shop level up. A thousand extra Bakwa. Character experience. Double axe SS. Unlocks it. Upward and downward attacks. I need Yeti Whiskers to up upgrade Reveling Tanuki. At this point... Holy crap. Is there more than three quests left on the board? Because if not, then I don't have to actually track them down. There's one on Outlander Lane, given by Frida. Who? Oh, you. CJ, over here, over here! What's up, Frida? You get along with Tatara, don't you? The smithy. Not especially, I don't think. Oh, come on, you do, you do! I've got an eye for these things! So, I have a favor to ask. Thing is, Tatari and I had a bit of a situation. What does that mean? Okay, well, I'd ask him to do a little ironwork for me, and when he showed me the finished product... Not much to look at, is it? I said to myself. At least I thought I said it to myself. Must have been louder than I realized, because he heard it and did not like it. I wonder why. Did you have a word for him with, with him for me? The town's only armor and blacksmiths should really try to get along, don't you think? Sure, I'll see what I can do.
Hey, Tatara, I heard about what happened between you and Frida. Hmm? Frida? What happened? She said something kind of rude and made you angry? Angry? Me? Not at all. You're heading back to see Frida. Bring her this for me, will you? What is it? Knuckle duster. My own design. Frida had a point. The original one was a bit too wide to grip well. Took a few attempts to get it right, but I think this one's good. I think we know what Frida's weapon type is going to be in... Um... The, uh... In 100 Heroes. Wait, did the spin just level up? It did. Huh. Um... I'm not hurting for offensive or defensive capability. I just want to see what abilities I get. The armor. Tatara wasn't angry with you at all. Here, he told me to give you this. This... The graceful curved spine... Spaced rivets! Wahoo! It's perfect! This is exactly what I had in mind. The Tara said he made it after taking your feedback into consideration. You don't say. Thank you so much, CJ. Here's your stamp. Air step and charged jumps, but I need bronze ore, which takes the level two pickaxe. I think I already got the. Yeah. Or the level three pickaxe, I guess. But anyway, uh, back to the forest. Uh, again. Okay, this is like a PSP game with its padding. Actually... It feels like a PSP game just in general. Just the format, the padding-ish design. And I'm not even faulting it for that design, because it means that, I mean, it's a budget bonus game from the Kickstarter. Like, this is the smart way to make a game like that. Yep, heavy stone. Oh. Kill. Level 25. <laughs> That's exaggerating a little, I think. Okay, so I need agricultural seed and the fish. Which is Actually, I don't think I can get a level 2 fishing rod yet. Dude, if I could get the bronze ore... Then I'd get the air step, which I think is the an air dash. Just the right button. Okay. Extremely large fish received. First time fishing. Might as well fill up the pack here, actually.
I actually like this fishing minigame. I'm a fan of hit the buttons in the sequence. Micro game. Like, if you're gonna make fishing a minigame, and you don't want it to be, like, a whole in-depth endeavor... But you want it to be more engaging than press the one button at the right time. This is a good way to do it. Plus, doing it this way means I have plenty of fish for uh, stat food. Watering meat acquired. Hell yeah. I think that's specifically only available for the quest. I think at the agricultural seed, but I'll worry about that in a minute. <laughs> I want to get that air dash. Let's see. Um, residential. Actually, I think it's the interior, isn't it? Yeah. Got some of that mouth-watering meat you were after. Well, I'll be. I thought only the finest hunters in the land would be able to catch those beasts. I suppose that makes me the finest hunter in the land, doesn't it? Huh. Was well, enough to get you a stamp, but don't let it go to your head, missy. Stamp received. Experience, no money. Caught a big one. What do you think? What the? <laughs> so, did I break your record then? Of course not. But here, take a stamp and be on your way. Good. No money. Okay, so then I can turn this one in. This one gives money, but not enough. I'll sell some stuff. Not outskirts. Outlander lane. This is it. How in the world did you find it? Technically, it found me. Flip flap, right? It was a little gargoyle. Gargoyle? Those little things with... Those things with little wings like bats. Oh, at least you've got your husband's recipe back. Husband? Ha! Ah, how that thou ever left for me was in debt. But you said... It's from one of my favorite celebrity chefs. Taken from a cookbook, I reckon. Huh? Oh, I've been a bit fan for so very long. Cooking one of his dishes will be a dream come true. Here, have a stamp. A thousand thanks, pet. Not the only time a game related to Sweet Den, at least... Um, involves celebrity chefs. Fish with herbs, attack power plus 0.2. Up game steak, defense power plus. Oh, wait. I'm gonna hold off. So as I can upgrade my pickaxe. And also, I want to sell um, the scraps I'm getting from Earths. Sir Fossil. Scholars are willing to pay for such a find. Also, I should sell a lot of this amber crystal. Holy hell. Some of this stuff is way more valuable than I'd expected. Even the giant prints, that is so easy to get. Holy crap, that's so easy to farm. So are overhorns, my god. 
Spare accessories are worth a lot too if I decide to sell those, but... Buy the trap, and... There. That's maxed out. So now when I go to the quarry, I can get bronze ore, which... Yeah, let's do that, or at least try to do that. Because that'll unlock the... Well, I th I'm assuming that'll unlock the um, chest that I couldn't access before. Oh, but... There we go, Prospector's Earring. Huge ore. Huge ore. The <laughs> instrument. Not quite a drum, but percussion kind of thing in this track reminds me of Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. God, that's a good game. God, I hope Chrome, with the success relative, or the relative success of the remasters, can make a proper Tie 4. And am I just not going to get Bronze Orb? Maybe it doesn't spawn on nodes until you get into the Rune Barrow. Which would be incredibly lame. But is looking more and more likely. Oh, that's unfortunate. And it's, uh... Alright, next room. Petrify? Oh, no. It's frickin' Castlevania Petrify. Mash the stick. Alright, we're not getting that. So let's at least get the agricultural seed. I did get Durable Stone, though, so maybe I just got unlucky. Could also just be in the underground area.
That wouldn't make sense, considering it's supposed to be like a tree seed. Actually, enough experience to level CJ up. Okay. Yeah, it's literally just, hey, go kill this thing again. It, it taunts me. You just need to be able to dash from here. <laughs> eh, the chest treasures aren't amazing anyway. But it's about the principle of the thing, Jerry. It's about the... It's about the principle. Back. Should have everything you asked for. Well, griddle my gits. Grit? Gits? Grits. Exi perfect. Exactly what I needed. Thank you. Both of you. Y'all are adventurers, so you want stamps, right? Where'd I put that damned thing? Ah, here it is. Guess I got no excuse now. <laughs> Time to get to work feeding all you fine city folk. I don't feel good about this menier thing, though. I have to put it, keep an eye on that. If any adventurers ever give you any trouble, let me know. I'll give them a personal walloping just for you. Heh. <laughs> How can I refuse an offer like that? You're a good one, Missy. Feel free to take as much as you want when the crops start growing. At least I can do. Don't be strangers now, you hear? I'd feel a lot better about this menier thing if you'd stop by once in a while. Thanks. We'll pop in from time to time. Well, it's been real fun, but we've got to get back to town. Right, CJ? Right. Gotta to head to town office and tell the acting mayor about the lens bandits. Hold your horses there, you two. If you're still feeling generous, there's a pasturage nearby I'd like you to take a gander at. My farm was in worse shape than usual this morning. Some beast must have come through the pasturage last night and mess it all up. I can't abide by that. Not now I'm trying to get back on my feet. Would you go take a look for me? A beast? Like a monster or something? Boy, don't you dare. We'll look into it. I knew you were going to say something like that. Stamp received. Wait, the farm is a business? Level up? Yeah. Farm is preparing to open. Having helped Ayas reopen his farm, CJ will be given special permission to plant crops and harvest grain, as well as the freedom to take all the vegetables and food she likes. Huh. I can just buy wheat and nuts now. Neat. Not exactly expecting Sukuna of Rice and Ruin here, though. Oh, I see. That road is going to be the boss. Have you been eating right, girl? Got enough meat in your diet? Me? Oh, when I catch something in the woods, I eat it, I suppose. You don't find much meat in the woods. Too many monsters. They scare all the good game away. Names are Mila. I used to hunt in the forest, but called it quits when the monsters moved in. So I set up a pasturage here instead. Pasturage? Don't you need cows for that? Oh, I have cows. Or rather, I had cows until they ran away. <laughs> I figured cows would be pretty easy to catch, so I didn't bother building a fence. You figured wrong. Well, catching them is easy. I was right about that. Keeping them is a different story. I need to build that fence after all. Say, you wouldn't mind gathering some stuff for me, right? Sure, leave with me. Think this is enough for you, Ormiel? Wow, thank you. I can fence the entire pasturage with this. You probably want a stamp, right? Here you go. Completed our silver stamp card! And unlock the ability to buy meat, but that's less exciting. Based on the conversation. Cows in the background. Oh, everything is level one now, isn't it? Rumors about the town are spreading far and wide. People are coming from all corners of the world so can set up shop right here. Oh, it's because we finished the silver card. 
Completing your stamp card will develop your town. Not only that, brought closer to get through their efforts, the party will be able to make greater use of link attacks. You will, of course, be given a new stamp card. You can now chain up to three link attacks. If it's dairy and eggs you need, visit Ermila at the pasturage. Take what you get to the tavern to have a turn to nutritious cuisine. Oh, it's so you don't have to gather eggs. So the beast was just a cow after all. Are we done? Because I'm definitely done. Okay, okay. Let's go to the town office and fill them in on the Lens Bandits. Oh, it's a new music track, too. Main Quest 12. Bandit Busting. Yeah, we can buy milk now that it's level 1. Now it's 50 stamps, um, but we can get our meat reward. Never make me say meat reward again. Never make me do that again. Get bronze ore for the next 10 stamps. But... Next time on Let's Play Euden Chronicle Rising. Oh god, we've got another wave of side quests. I guess that's all we'll be doing. See you guys then.